Let's go out to John Graham, who is checking out Space Camp today and fulfilling some fantasies. Good morning. Hey there, just hanging out at Space Camp. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the one sixth chair simulates the moon. Hey, wait, just watch this. Here we go. Woo, here we go. Whoa. Ah, more ahead on Good Day Orlando. Help me. And welcome back, everybody. Today, our own John Graham is going to the moon. Mm -hmm. Well, at least the reasonable facsimile. He's close as he can get. John is live this morning at Space Camp in Titusville, which is a great opportunity for your kids. Let's see how training is going right now. Good morning. <laughs> I'm suffering for my art, you guys. Are you yeah. singing soprano? This is not the most comfortable thing I've ever done in my life. Here, here Diana, <laughs> hang on. I'm going to stand up very slowly and carefully. Explain. Oh, get your finger off that button just yet. Explain to people what this is again. This is the one six chair and it simulates the moon's gravity. And this was actually used by astronauts before they went up there? I mean, is it, is it used by people to train before they end up in real space? Yes, we actually use it to, to help the um, people understand what it was like to walk on the moon. And that's one of the things you come out here for a whole week of space camp, or well, a kid comes out here for a whole week of space camp, or an adult and a kid. You don't have any programs for just adults, do you? Not here at this <clears throat> facility, no, we don't. Okay. So, all right, you, you ready to hoist me up into the air? Sure. All right, I don't know if I'm so ready for this. Think happy thoughts, John. Uh, you said the idea is to get me so on my toes are just barely touching the ground, right? That's right. Okay. So if I could ordinarily jump, oh, say five feet straight up in the air, because that's what I always do, right? <laughs> then I'd be able to jump six times that? Oh, sure. You'd be okay, able to that's go. good right there. All right, now, astronauts, when astronauts are training, what do I want to learn to do? You said there's like a little, a little jog, because how many layers of clothes are astronauts wearing? About 25 layers in the, in the suit. Mm -hmm. so, so they don't like, they're not happy-go-lucky skipping around up there? No, it's a really a slow, um, exaggerated movement, actually. Okay, so just kind of like... The, you're going to try the bunny hop, okay, the well, astronaut just, bunny hop. Just hop, what do I do? Both feet together, and you're both, just going to... Uh, both feet together, easier or, said than done. Okay. Well, I mean both feet pushing together. Okay, well, just like this? Just, yep, just like that. Woo, this is fun. Go forward. Okay. How am I looking, guys? Ah! Now, will you be there in space to help me, Diana? Uh, You're no, fine, John. We just keep getting weird angles. Oh, <laughs> man. Well, there's not. Oh, uh, they're just fail. jealous back there at the station. All right. Okay, now Let's see wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Now, see it when I jump up? I can't hear her. Okay. What do you want me to do now, Diana? I want you to try the astronaut jog, the one foot in front of the other. Okay. Oh, one foot. All right. Hang on. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Great sound effect. If anybody else wants to do this, remember, in space, no one can hear you go, ow. Uh, if you want to learn how to do this stuff yourself, spacecamp.com or 800-63-SPACE, and they're going to put me through other strange devices as the show continues. Here, just step back for a second, Diana. I don't want to hurt you. I want to have some, I'm, look, when, when she's not around. Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, man. We that need to tell uh, Goose to stay above the waistline. Yeah, you're though. getting a little uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That harness looks kind of uncomfortable. A little tight. Yeah. Tight to watch and probably tight to be there too. But you know yeah. what? Mm. If you've got kids interested in the space program, what a forecast for today? Looking just like this: 82 degrees for Orlando, partly cloudy, nice and warm. Michael. Thank you very much, Doug. Well, if your kids haven't given you their Christmas list yet, why don't you offer to send them to the moon? Or you could send them to Titusville, which is, of course, home to Space Camp, Florida. That's where our own kid, John Graham, is this morning. He's just hanging around kind of upside down. Oh, man. Doing? All the pretty colors. Hang on. i got to get back. <laughs> got to get right side up. Oh, that's much better. Diana, explain what this is. This is one of the many things that the kids get to try out here at Space Camp. This is our uh, space station mobility trainer, and mm -hmm. it was used during the Skylab program, okay. America's first space station. And we use it, it's a simulator that shows how they would exercise mm -hmm. during that program. Because I guess the problem in, you know, in sitting in that cramped space, you don't get much exercise, there's no gravity, right? True, we, we learned that the astronauts had a problem with um, their bones decalcifying mm -hmm. and their muscles experiencing atrophy when they came back to Earth. Mm -hmm. So we learned that they needed to exercise for about an hour and a half. Um, so that when they came back, they could function normally. An hour and a half, I'm breaking a sweat, and I've only been in this thing about two minutes. <laughs> I know, it's a, it's a lot of work. So, so what age kids come to space camp? Um, nine through 12. Okay, here, let me give you this to you, and you tell me what to do. Okay. Okay, what do I do? Just uh, go ahead and either walk backwards or forward, and you can go as fast as you want or wow. as slow as you want. Man, go all the way around? Yes, go all the way around. Woo! That, Keep that's really like a gerbil, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say that. Ah, what's going on? Does it take you long? Well, it doesn't take you too long to get used to it, though. No, and actually, if you get going really well, you can just your momentum can just oh, start oh, spinning okay. you around. So. So let's try that. 
There you go. Here, you, you get, while I do this, you give them the phone number and the website address if people want to find out more. Okay, if people want to find out more, it's 1-800-63-SPACE, and it's um, www.spacecamp.com. How am I doing? And doing great. <laughs> John. Good. John. Yes. My daughter has a hamster that's much faster. <laughs> she is so do much faster. Do you want to try going forward? Well, that wasn't forward, that was backward. <laughs> that was backward. Hang on, she wants me to go the other way. Yeah, there you go. All right, he, as John oh. unwinds. Oh, goodness. Okay, there we go. Thank a little you very harder much, that sir. Way. Hey, you know, a lot of folks do have their eye on the holiday season and a holiday party. Well, back to John Graham. He is live at Space Camp, where you can take your kids for a great experience. John, what's coming up next? Hey, well, this is the multi-axis something, 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 something. <laughs> They'll tell me what it is in just a minute. And believe it or not, it's not on yet. Wait until you see what happens when they crank this baby up. All ahead, I'm good to Orlando. Wow. Yes. Yeah. I'm impressed. Personality. All right. Now you know. Speaking yeah. of Mr. Personality, John Graham is at Space Camp Orlando this morning. What are you up to? Hey, I'm test driving the various gadgets they got out here because I got to make sure the 9 to 12 year olds can handle it when they come right. out here for a whole week. So th this is called the multi axis something. What is it, Diana? The multi axis space test inertia facility. And you guys call it Mastiff for short. Right. The Mastiff or the multi axis. Okay. Do you guys hear a ringing? In my ears, do you hear no, that? No, we don't. Okay, good, because it would be really annoying if you guys heard it too. So it'll just be me. So now, what happens with this device when you let go? What's going to happen to me? Well, I'm actually going to just let go and start up the motor, and you're going to be able to feel like it would feel if a capsule was tumbling out of control. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. So this is like a, this is like to get people ready in case that kind of thing happens. Not that you ever want that to happen. Right, just to experience disorientation so you're ready for it in the space environment. But you said it was good that, that astronauts did do this because this happened to somebody. Absolutely, it happened to Neil Armstrong on Gemini 8, but mm -hmm. he was such a fine pilot that he was able to regain control and come back to Earth safely. Well, here, you take the microphone because I don't think I want people to hear my girlish screams. Okay. So this is going to okay, spin ready? on all three. Whoa, there we go. It'll <laughs> spin on all three axes, right? That's right. Okay. How are we doing so far? John, be careful now. Okay, just m make sure to keep your head back. This does look like a Kubrick film all keep of a Keep your sudden. hands and arms inside the vehicle at all space, times. And the website is www.spacecamp.com. Oh, wow. They're really swinging Oh, come on. Crank it up. Move it faster. <laughs> oh, you guys How are How you mean. doing in there? Let's go. Uh-oh. There we go. John's going to lose his <laughs> breakfast any minute now. All right. I think he's ready to quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is a serious simulator. We're tumbling through space. Where are you guys? There you are. Hang on. Hang on. Just a minute. Where's my mom? Okay. So there you how, go. Long, how long do they usually have to ride this for at a time? Usually for about a minute. Okay, so how long did I go? About 30 seconds? Uh, yeah, you about 30 seconds. <laughs> sure. Ha, 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 I hear you guys laughing. I don't see you guys out here. Oh, we'd be I bet I could get them out here, couldn't I? Sure. And then put them on TV and mock them. Couldn't I do that? <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. All right, they'd be more than happy to have you guys out here. Mm -hmm. Melissa, that's a challenge. Tough talkers. I know, the gauntlet has been thrown down. Have if I had a gauntlet. <laughs> have to think about there it this. Is. So yeah, oh, and by the way, um, if people want to call the number or the website and stuff, right now they've got a special. You can like get your kid the package for $4.99 for a week, and you can use it during the summer, and it saves like 200 bucks off or something like that. Don't hold me to that, but mm -hmm. you save money. Trust me. Okay. See you at the end of the show. Melissa is laughing at you, John. I'm just <laughs> glad you didn't toss your cookies yeah, on TV. Yeah, exactly. Hey, here's what's coming up before you deck the hall. Thanks, guys. John Graham will join us after the break as Good Day Orlando continues. And we'll also have a final check of the forecast. Wow! We'll see what this is all about when we come back.